Hey, my Pilates people, welcome to my channel, Connect and Move. My name is Jessica. Today I have for you a reformer flow using the box and hopefully staying on one spring. Um, you will need your box set up long ways to start. Well, we'll be using it for pretty much the whole class. And then your one medium spring, or for my balanced body, that's a red spring because I have a green, so that makes my red more of a medium spring. Foot bar is gonna be up in your footwork position. Um, yeah, and then a knee pad. I think we'll do a little bit of kneeling at some point, um, but make adjustments as you need as far as springs for your body, right? All those things. So um, long box, once you have it set up, we're gonna have a seat on the box facing the foot bar, and we'll get started. So when you're seated on your box facing your foot bar here, I want you to be pretty close to the front edge, but not hanging off. I just want there to be a lot of box behind you um, to roll back. So I'm gonna place all 10 toes on heels together, toes apart. If that doesn't work for you, find more of a parallel position, but I do want you to get every toe pad connected here. And now I want you to take your arms behind you, just somewhere on the box. Boo-boo, are you gonna bite me? Okay, and then just go ahead and straighten your legs out. All right, so I'm trying to find a flat, tall back, even though I'm leaning back. In fact, I could maybe take my hands in a little bit closer. And I'm just gonna hold here and just push down into my arms and just feel the broadening across my chest. I'm pushing the foot bar away. And now I want you to keep the length and just bend your knees and pull the carriage home. Now pause here when you're in. I want you to push down on the foot bar so we're not all in our hip flexors and then press the carriage out. So I had to adjust my feet a little bit to a little bit more on top of the foot bar to get that pulled down. So just a little variation on stomach massage and footwork for today. And the more I push down on the foot bar, the more I'm finding like I wanna lean back, which I'm gonna to have to engage my arms and my upper back a little bit more. Let's do a few more here. Inhale as you go out, exhale as you pull home. Inhale as you go out, exhale, pull yourself home. You might even feel your calves, your ankles kick on a little bit more. Exhale, pull yourself home. Now press the carriage out. I want you to lift your arms and then reach them forward, kind of like at a high diagonal. Keep the energy out through your arms and now bend your knees, pull yourself home. Inhale out, exhale, pull yourself home. Again, work the push down on the foot bar. <sighs> Inhale out, exhale, pull yourself home. Two more here. Think belly and ribs away from your thighs as you come in. Last one and out. Now we're gonna add a roll back to this. So I'm gonna bend my knees. I'm gonna bring the carriage in maybe like halfway. And then from here, I'm gonna let my pelvis roll under. I'm gonna roll back, roll back, roll back to about where my waistband and my low back is into the mat, still with my chest lifted. And then I'm gonna push into the foot bar and roll up, roll up, roll up, and then legs go straight. Might have to situate the feet a little bit. Let's do that again. Knees are gonna bend, and then I'm gonna start to roll back. Roll back, roll back, keep drawing the ribs back, and then roll yourself all the way up you can always grab onto your legs. I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit more because now I wanna add in a little extension piece to this. So my knees are gonna bend. I'm gonna to start to roll back, roll back, go back. Can you go all the way back? Let your arms fall out to the sides. Let your head go back. Big breath in here. On your exhale, arms sweep forward, nod your chin, and then roll yourself up 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 legs go straight at the top again knees bend pelvis rolls back pull those ribs back pull the ribs back go all the way back head drops arms go back behind you so arch your back here and then exhale nod your chin pull the ribs back as your chest comes up and over 
Again, roll back, roll back. Think of kind of sequen sequencing through your spine here. Head goes back, arms go back. Exhale, nod your chin. Pull the ribs back as the chest comes forward, up and over, up and over. Now, pause here with the carriage out, with your legs straight. I want you to sit up tall, arms stay reaching forward like Frankenstein arms. Big breath in here. On your exhale, nod your chin, round up and over. So as my head is going forward, I'm thinking of my center spine going back behind me. And then from tail to crown, stack all the way up, up, up. Good, again, nod your chin, peel your spine away from that imaginary wall. Up and over, up and over. Keep your heels lifted. And then tail to crown, stack all the way up. Oh, that feels good. Last one here, up and over, up and over. Push, push the foot bar away, but also down and then roll back up, up, up. I'm gonna now interlace the webbing of my fingers. My hands are gonna go behind the base of my skull. If this doesn't work for your shoulders or for whatever reason, you can always take your hands or your fingers on your shoulders, or you can just keep them out to the side like a letter T. But I want everybody to think of the head tractioning up and into your hands, even if they're not there. Carriage is gonna stay still, legs are gonna stay still. I'm gonna lift and twist to the right, lift, 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 and then back to center. Take it easy, right, if it's first thing in the morning for you, and back to center. Lift, 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 back to center. We go over to the left, equal weight into your hips. Think of spiraling up, 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 and back to center. One more time each side. Lift, push the elbows wide, and back to center, last one here. Lift, 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 back to center. Arms can come down, awesome work. So carriage can come in. I'm gonna drop your foot bar all the way down. And we're now gonna take the box and place it on your foot bar. Make sure that it's not, I said on your foot bar, but make sure it's not actually on the foot bar where your feet go. Um, so that way it's not going to slide off. And then I'm going to pull my carriage out a little bit, make sure my box is not on my carriage as well. We're going to stay on this same spring. Okay. So my right foot's going to be on the floor. My left foot is going to be on the foot bar here. Oh my gosh, the foot bar. Here we go with the foot bar. Shoulder block. There we go. So my right toes are facing forward. Very, very important. And I'm going to try to connect as much of my left foot to that shoulder block as I possibly can. I'm just gonna take my hands onto the box here, and then I'm just gonna press the carriage back. So I'm just gonna go into a lunge here, and I'm gonna pause, all right? I'm just gonna feel this kind of lift of my pubic bone up to my navel to support my back. My right hip is spiraling back, my left hip is spiraling forward. Make sure that the right knee is facing forward. So when you did that, the knee didn't go out to the side. And then just bring the carriage all the way in. Lunge back and then pull it in. Now, sometimes when I do these, my low back kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't really like it. So I'm just gonna hinge forward a little bit and then I'm gonna come all the way back in. I hinge forward, that just keeps that low back nice and long and then come back in. So my back leg is staying you know, it's not going into a crazy bend because my reformer is so high. But if you're able to, let the back knee bend, bring the carriage in, and then you press it right back out. Like I said, I can't go all the way in because my knee just jams right down into the carriage. And if you don't need to hold on to the box, right? You don't, no worries. Two more here. Last one. Now I want you to go out into that lunge, out into the lunge, okay? Tripod connection through your right foot, all right? Check your hips, make sure you're square. Your back leg, you're trying to get it as straight as you possibly can. Now, your front hip, your right hip, this is what's gonna work to push the carriage back. So 
I'm gonna try to straighten my front leg and then I'm gonna pull it back in. I'm gonna straighten my front leg and then I'm gonna bend my knee, bring it kind of maybe right over my toes and then straighten the leg. So again, the, my left leg is razor straight the whole time. It's not the one that's the, the mover here, even though it's working. And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the side of my right hip kick on like crazy. Maybe even the back of my leg a little bit. This is your front splits. This is your back splits. Let's do two. Ribs are lifted in. Last one, bring the front knee right over the center of the foot. Carriage doesn't move. Front heel, can you lift it? And lower it. Lift it and lower it. Keep working left hip forward, right hip back. Hands can be wherever. I feel like if they're off, it's gonna be even more challenging. Off the box, I mean. We've got three and two. And last one, place the foot down, go ahead and bring the carriage all the way in. Stuff and things. Okay, so we're gonna stay here on this side, place both hands down onto the box here. We're gonna press the carriage out, so go out into that lunge again, okay? And now we're gonna do that kind of pike to knee into the chest, all right? So as the carriage comes in, I'm gonna push into my arms, bring my right knee into my chest. I want you all to pause here. Round more, push into the arms more, Pull the right knee in more and then place it back down. Yeah, oh yeah. So hold at the top, pull the knee in closer and then back down. Back leg stays straight if you can and then back down. Push into the arms, lift the sternum and back out. We have three and two, round, round, round. And last one, pull it in, 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 and then place it down. Awesome work. Let's do the other side. So right foot on, left toes facing forward. Try to have your left leg as close to the carriage as you can that doesn't bother your, your knee or anything. All right, and that keeps you in alignment. All right, so let's do this side. So I'm gonna press the carriage back, lunge back, I'm gonna hold here, I'm gonna check some boxes. Now my right hip, it's trying to spiral forward, left hip is going back, inner thighs at the party, and then drag it back in. And when you press the carriage back, make sure that your left knee isn't going behind the heel. I kind of want it to stabilize maybe either right over the ankle or more over the center of the foot. So it's just a little range that it might be moving here. Anybody else got creaky knees? Ooh, these are extra creaky today. And for those of you with really low reformers, you can make this like a full, like big bringing of the carriage in, my right knee's gonna bend, and then I'm gonna press it right back out. For those of you with the high reformers, carriage might not come all the way in, that's okay. We are all getting work. Oh, this knee is just creaky. It's like there's rocks in there. Your tailbone is still long, ribs are in, even if you're coming into like a little bit of an extension at some point. Let's do three and two and last one. So go out into your lunge here. The back leg is gonna stay straight, okay? So energy through that back heel your front leg, it's gonna straighten. That's what's gonna push the carriage back and then it's gonna pull in. So I think I taught a class maybe like a week or so ago, 
by the time this posts, it'll probably be like two or three weeks. But we did kind of a variation of this standing on the carriage and then pushing the carriage out and in. It's the same concept. We're trying to tap into the hip and that's what's guiding the carriage in and out. It's what's guiding the knee forward and back. This side feels way less coordinated. Try to stabilize everything else. Let's do two. And obviously here the knee is going behind the heel. Last one, shift that left knee over the center of the foot. Square your body off here, find your inner thighs, front heel lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers. So once again, carriage is stable. I just caught my knee shifting back. Mm-hmm. For three and two and last one, plant the heel down, bring the carriage all the way in. Ooh. All right, and I almost forgot. So I want you to go back out to that lunge. Hands are onto the box here. My back leg is gonna stay straight. All right, when you bring the carriage in, pull the left knee in, pull it in, 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 and then place it back down. Try to land with some softness. Exhale, pull the knee in, 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 and then place it back down. You gotta think of lifting your organs off that left thigh and then back out. Push into the arms. We're gonna need it for a, a later move. Exhale, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then back out. Three more, y'all. Exhale, lift, 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 and back out. Two, lift, round, round, and back out. One more. Lift the sternum, lift the ribs, pull the heel into your butt, and then place it down. Awesome work. So again, stay on the same spring. Box is gonna stay where it's at, and we need to have a seat on your box. Okay, careful, it's a light spring. <clears throat> you can do this next move on your forearms. It might be a limited range, but you can do it, right, if the wrists are bothering you. But I am gonna cue it on the wrist. So my hands are gonna to come to the edge of the box here. I'm gonna take my feet forward. Again, feel free to readjust with the feet. Knees are gonna stay bent. I want you to slide your bottom off the box and hold here. So my arms are super straight. I'm pushing down into the box and I'm just holding here for two, one. Now keep the arms straight. Let the shoulders shrug up into the ears. I feel like this is where we want to go, right? Just hold here for a second. And then I want you to push the shoulders down away from the ears. Hold, two, three. Slowly guide the shoulders back up to the ears and then lift yourself back up. So doing kind of like a opposite of a shrug, like what you might see guys doing in the gym. So shoulders shrug up into the ears and then I'm gonna push them down away from the ears. Hold, hold, hold. They go up into the ears and they go down. So this position is your arms and straps. This is you pushing your fists away from your crown of your head. Hips come down, one more here. So find that side body work, hold, 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 and then just slide the hips back onto the box and shake it out. We're just trying to connect into those muscles that pull the shoulders out of the ears. All right, so now we're gonna keep the sides of the neck long and do some tricep dips, okay? So the legs are straight, might be, I don't know, because of the resistance, I don't think it would make it harder. So my carriage is gonna come out a little bit, my knees are gonna stay bent, I'm gonna bend my elbows narrow, and then press myself back up. Bend narrow, and back up. So I'm still trying to stay connected to those muscles that we just fired up, those armpit side body muscles. And each time the arms go straight, find that position, find the top of your dip. For three, and two, and one, go down into your dip and hold here. Spiral the elbows in closer to one another. Little pulses, little pulses down here. 
chest is nice and broad. These are your long back arms from the chair here, y'all. For three, two, one, straight arms, then the hips come back on. Nice work. All right, from here, I'm gonna slide my bottom down onto the carriage. I feel like this is the best way to get you into this. And then I'm gonna find kind of like my bra line-ish area if you're wearing one. So kind of like just below the shoulder blades. And then that's where I want the back to hit the box. And then I'm gonna drive my hips up, okay? So again, feel free to readjust, of course. All right, so do whatever you like with the arms here, okay? My feet are flat down onto the mat here, and I'm thinking of driving my pubic bone up. So I'm coming into this bridge. Again, do what you'd like with the arms. And then I just want you to soften the sternum, soften the ribs, soften the belly, the low back, and then just roll your hips down. You might touch the mat, you might not. And then roll your hips up. Wherever the carriage at, wherever the carriage is at, just think of trying to keep it stable. And then roll down, roll down, roll down. Your head just stays onto the mat. Let's do that again. Curl the tailbone under, pubic bone to navel, roll yourself up, up, up. Now, you can stay in this position or you can slide your toes up onto the shoulder blocks. So it's like the balls of your feet, all right, so my heels are gonna try to stay relatively lifted here. I want you to keep the carriage somewhat in, meaning it's just not, it's gonna stay still. So let's do that again. I'm gonna roll down, roll down, roll down, and then roll up, roll up, roll up. Pause at the top. Your pubic bone is higher than your two hip points. And now press the carriage out, hold here. Carriage doesn't move, roll down, Roll down, roll down. Once your hips are down, you're gonna roll your hips back up. Again, do whatever you like with the arms. Mine are kind of all over the place. Pause at the top, pull the carriage in, and then melt, melt, melt. Carriage stays quiet, and then roll your hips up. Just got a nice little hip pop. <sighs> Hold here at the top, press the carriage out, and then melt down, melt down. Try to keep your heels lifted for as long as you can. Roll down, roll down, roll down. Carriage stays still, roll your hips up. Think bone by bone, sequencing through your spine. Pull the carriage in, last one here. Roll down, roll down, lengthen down, and then roll yourself up. Oh, it's taking a lot of focus, a lot of focus. Once your hips are up, they're gonna stay up. Press the carriage out and then pull it in. Press it out and pull it in. Find those inner thighs, press it out. Equal weight into your toes, y'all. Pull it in, little hamstring curl. Soften through the ribs. It's hip extension. Let's do three and two. Woo! Last one. Pull it in and then roll down, roll down, roll down. Find your booty to the mat and let's come off. Woo! That was fun. Not the most graceful thing to get in and out of, but we're here. We're now gonna take the box, place it on long ways. Long box on. So I'm now gonna have a seat straddling my box. And I'm gonna place my feet down onto the edges here, all right? And I've got just a little bit of space behind my bottom. I'm now gonna reach back, find my long loops. All right, so I'm gonna think of pushing down through my feet, but also hugging in on the box. I'm gonna sit up tall, so I'm gonna wiggle my hips around and just find that equal weight down through my sits bones. My palms are facing forward. I've got a soft bend to my elbows and now I'm going to reach the arms forward and then lower them back down. Limit your range if you need, if the shoulders are bothering you. Exhale as arms reach forward. Inhale arms come down. Think of this reach coming from your back, from the middle of your back. And 
and also how stable can you keep your spine and your legs now we're going to add on i just realized i forgot that whole part dang it i'm going to reach the arms forward i'm going to lift them up open them out wide and then bring them all the way down reach them forward just draw in a big old circle it's up to you how big you want to make these keep hugging in on the box with the legs <clears throat> last one here once the arms are down by your side we're going to reverse they open they hug in and down remember to keep the sides of the neck long if it does start to get into your neck just don't bring the arms up as high Crown of the head stays on the ceiling. We're still working that lift. One more here. And come all the way down. Awesome work. All right, so keep the straps in your hands. And now I'm gonna hinge forward. So I'm still trying to keep a flat back. I'm just hinging from my hips and coming forward. Palms are gonna be facing forward, just like they were. And I'm gonna bicep curl. Hands come to my shoulders and then slowly release back out. So elbows stay hugging in towards your rib cage. And the shoulder girdle stays stable. So I'm not rounding, I'm not arching. And here's the challenge, right? It's how stable can you keep all of these things? Now let the arms go straight, only your right arm. Bicep curl, and then slowly release. Left arm, bicep curl, and slowly release. So here, now we're challenging the core, we're challenging the whole body, saying, can you do this without twisting, without side bending, without leaning? Let's do three. I'm getting a lovely stretch on my chest though. Oh, it feels so good. Two. And last one. Let the arms go straight. Let's do five more both. Five. Hug the elbows in. Four. And three. And two. And last one, let the arms go straight and come all the way back up. Ooh, even get a nice neck stretch out of this. All right, so let's just do a couple serve trays here. So my palms are gonna be facing up to the sky. You can have long fingertips or fists. I'm now back to more my upright position as opposed to leaning forward. Reactivate the legs. I'm gonna punch my arms forward and now I'm gonna round. My tailbone's gonna curl under. I'm gonna pull back through my center spine, push into your feet. And then as my elbows come back in, I'm gonna stack my spine all the way up. Little variation on horseback. Arms reach forward, pull back through the ribs, pull back through the sternum, pull back through the belly, and then bend everything back in. So this heavy resistance gives you a lot of good opposition, a lot of good feedback to stretch the back, and then bring it back in. Only one more like this. Reach forward, tuck the tail, and then pull it all the way back in. Awesome, okay, hang up the straps. I want you to take your legs out straight, okay? So they're kind of dipped down, but they're hugging in, all right? So you pick if you wanna do parallel or turn out. Just let your legs kind of go where they wanna go, okay? So I'm gonna take my hands into the box, all right? I'm gonna kind of push down to find that same opposition as I did when we did our serve tray. I'm gonna tip my body forward a little bit, all right? So now my arms aren't straight, but my legs are still active. I'm gonna pull back through the belly, and then I'm gonna tip myself back, push into the hands, and try to lift my legs up higher than the box. They're gonna come down. I'm gonna tip forward, but still lift up through the ribs and the belly. I'm gonna tip back, legs are gonna lift, I'm gonna push into my hands, and then come down, tip forward. You got it. <laughs> you can make fists and push into your fist. 
and then tip forward. Again, push into the hands, lift. You gotta really pull back through the belly to get that lift. Last one here. Lift, find opposition, and then lower down. Awesome work. All right, so we're gonna come off the box. We're gonna come around at the back end of your reformer. Still staying with the long box on. You're gonna step onto your platform here at the end. Come into like a little Pilates V. I'm gonna walk my hands out, kind of midway on the box here. And then I'm gonna come out into a plank. So my heels are super high here. My tailbone is long, my ribs are up into my back. I'm gonna slide the box away a little bit and pull it back under me. Slide the box away and pull it under. Legs are strong, heels stay high. Last one. Now pull the box under you, so my hands are underneath my shoulders. Baby push up. Bend the elbows, narrow, and then back up. Maybe it's a micro bend today. A little baby bend, and back up. Now, I want you to bend the elbows, come all the way down onto the box to where your middle of your chest is at the edge of the box. So guide the carriage in, your feet are lifted, they're no longer on the frame. All right, pull straps one and two. Choke up onto the straps as high as you can without opening the springs. Let's do Pilates V today. So drive your pubic bone in towards the box so your tailbone is nice and long. Legs are hugging together, arms stay straight. Pull the arms down and back. Reach the heart forward, find the top of your dip. Right here's the top of that tricep dip we did. And then lower the arms all the way down. Again, arms reach back. Think pushing into that box to lengthen the neck and then lower the arms all the way down. Last one here, arms pull down and back. Roll the collarbones open and then slowly release back down. Take your grip wide, palms are facing down. Let your head drop a little bit so your arms can come up higher than your chest. And now lead with the pinkies, pull the arms wide and back to your hips hold. Palms are facing down to the floor. Can you lift your arms higher than your body right now? And then take them back out to that high letter T, stay in spring tension. Again, pull wide and back, reach, reach, reach. Arms lift to that letter T. Again, find those armpit muscles, y'all. Reach, reach, reach. Back out to that T and lower down. Awesome work. Ooh, we just don't, we never need a lot of those, do we? So now change your box to a short box. Short box is on. Okay, so I'm gonna come on facing you to start. So I'm gonna be seated. My left shin is gonna come down onto the carriage here. Now, if this position with your right leg doesn't work, you can always have it hanging off the front side, okay? And depending on your leg length, right, your knee might be under your hip, might have to be a little bit forward. But I'm gonna think of thigh hugging in to the box here. I'm gonna sit up tall, think equal weight into my hips, even though my left butt cheek is kind of hanging off, okay. Left hand onto my long loop. This is kind of a heavy spring, so just be careful, okay? Let's have the right hand down onto the box. Let's start there. So I'm gonna row my left elbow out to the side and pause. Once again, I'm gonna feel that I'm stacked and in my plumb line, and then arm comes across the body. Let it pull you into a stretch. I think I'm gonna have to choke up onto my short loop there. All right, I'm gonna pull or let it pull myself into a twist, push into the right hand, and then kind of stack my spine back up. Elbow goes out to the side. It's gonna come forward and around, push into your right hand to deepen the twist, stack back up, elbow goes out. So it might not come like towards the well, it might come out to the side a little bit so I can push into it to deepen the twist and then come back out. Again, up and over, keep pushing into that left shin that should deepen that stretch. Two more here. 
I'm hoping this feels really good. Pull back through the ribs as that left arm goes forward. And then back out. Awesome, okay. So now I'm gonna take my right hand into my long loop, okay? So we're gonna do a bicep curl from the side. Why does this feel very long? I don't know, we're gonna see though, we're gonna see. I'm just gonna place my left hand on my hip. Again, I'm gonna try to stay stacked, all right? My pal right palm is facing up to the ceiling. I'm gonna do a little bicep curl and then back out, all right? So immediately I'm feeling my left oblique kick on because I really wanna side bend right now, but I'm trying to stay stacked. The higher your elbow, the harder it is, I feel like on maybe the shoulder girdle and the bicep, the lower, the less tension. Oh yeah, definitely feeling the left oblique kicking on. We've got three. And two, collarbone stay broad, ribs are in. Last one. And then slowly release the arm back out. All right, so let's do a little counter stretch here, okay? I'm gonna lift my left arm up to the ceiling. I'm gonna side bend up and over. Hand can be on, right hand can be on the box. It can go down to the headrest or the shoulder block. So go into a side bend and hold here. Push into not only your right hand, but your left shin as well. And now keep that opposition and just spiral your upper body towards the well a little bit. So we can do a little twist and then square your body back out. We spiral a little bit and then back out. Just find some type of release here in this twist. Let's do one more. And then back out. And then we come all the way up. All right, let's do the other side. So right shin pushing down, right inner thigh up against the box here. My right hand is now on the short loop again. I'm gonna stack up tall, right elbow out to the side. So my right palm is facing in. I'm feeling my right upper back muscles kick on. And then the arm comes forward, left hand pushes into the box. Take it easy. Definitely feel a little stiffer on this side. Up and over. And something I didn't say on the other side is think of keeping your hips or your lower half still while it's your upper body twisting. So I'm trying something different on this side. I've got my left hand on the back of my left hip. And as I twist to the well, I'm kind of pushing into that hip. Oh, that feels yummy. Do what you like, y'all. a couple different variations either way though I am feeling my my shoulder my upper back let's do three check your neck here y'all and two and last one awesome okay left hand into the strap right hand maybe on the hip maybe around the stomach. So find where you're in spring tension, and then we curl the hand in, and then back out. So quick note on this side, I, when I started to do my bicep curl, I felt my low back tense up. So if you're feeling that, I want you to lengthen your tailbone, drop it down and think pubic bone forward or maybe even pubic bone lifting up to the navel. And for me, that cue, or just thinking that, I felt my low back release, and I felt maybe a little bit more stomach come to the party. Nice focus. Let's do three. Side to the next day long, shoulder girdle is stable. Two, and last one, let the arm go straight. Awesome, all right. Strap comes down, left hand wherever you like it, right arm comes up. We go up 
and over. Push into that right shin. And now as you do that spiral, oh, I just got a pop. Think ribs lifting up off that left thigh and then back out. We spiral, push into the box, push into the, um, the left leg into the box, sorry. And then back out. So there's always arrows of opposition. Or arrows of energy. Let's do two. Last one. Awesome. Come all the way up. Oh, that felt so good. Needed that. All right, so we're gonna keep the short box here. Let's just do a little bit of planking, a little bit of rotation here. So kneeling on your box, toes onto your platform. I would love it if you could find a quadruped position here. So for a lot of people, the carriage has to come out in order to get the knees underneath the hips, all right? So from here, it's about keeping the carriage stable, all right? Fists are driving into the box, maybe a little bit more than your elbows. Find some head to tail length here and now hover the knees. Just hold here, head to tail length. Your gaze is maybe just in front of your headrest and think of more weight going into your fists than your elbows. Holding strong here for three, two, one, lower the knees down, okay? And I know I, I cued knees under hips, I also want elbows under shoulders. All right, so now we're gonna add in just a little bit of a twist in the lower half, baby, baby twist, okay? So drive down into your fists, hover the knees, and now I want you to tap your right knee down so that'll drop your right hip and then lift it back up. Left knee taps down and back up. Tap, back up. Keep lifting your chest up away from the box so we're not sagging into the shoulder girdle. Let's do four and three and two and one. Find center and then lower the knees back down. Awesome, okay. Shake it out. All right, so now I want you to keep your right forearm down, but take your left hand onto the box, okay? This is the last little run here, and then we get to stretch. So I'm pushing into both my left and my left hand and my right arm. So my chest is a little bit more open to you. Hover the knees. So right now my lower half is square to the floor, my upper body's twisted to you. Now I want you to twist your knees to the left and then back to center. They swivel to the left and back to center. If this is not for you, just hold your position. My upper body tries to stay stable while my lower half moves. Let's do three, wait into that fist, y'all. And two, and last one, find center and lower down. Other side, good stuff. All right, get yourself sorted. Left fist, right hand, hover, upper body, or lower body twist, sorry, and back down. Keep working the lift of the ribs. Make this as small or as big as you want. Carriage stays pretty stable. Let's do four, you got it. And three, Woo. and two, Last one, and lower down. Oh yeah. Walk the knees forward a little bit. I'm gonna keep my toes onto the inside of the frame. I'm gonna take my right foot up onto the box. Now, if this is like, whoa lady, it doesn't work for me. You can always take the box away and place your foot onto the carriage same carriage as your knee is on, okay? My right foot is up, my left knee is down. I'm gonna reach down for my right, ah, I'm gonna go onto the, the webbing here. So my right hand is on the right webbing. My arm is gonna come onto the inside of my leg. I'm gonna let that strap pull me, just watch your back foot. So my chest and my hips are gonna come forward. And then I'm gonna stack my spine up loop my right arm around my leg. My left arm is gonna come up. I'm gonna side bend up and over. 
and then I'm gonna stack myself back up. <laughs> Hand comes down. Now before we go forward again, I want you to think of really dropping that tailbone down. That left hip is lifting up to your ribs. Right arm comes in to the inside of your leg. It's gonna pull me forward here, pull me forward. Now we're gonna add on to this, okay? I'm gonna let my right knee drop out to the side a little bit. Let's see how that feels. And then I'm gonna bring it back in. Foot plants. As I come up, my right arm comes around the leg. My left arm is gonna come up and over. Side bend if that's for you. You can always keep your hand on your leg, maybe on the box. And then hand comes down. Last one here. Arm comes forward, chest and hips come forward. Let your right knee push out to the side. Oh, that feels good. And then back to center, plant the foot. Arm wraps around the leg. I did this stretch in a, a hip stretch for former a couple weeks ago, and I really loved it. Really, really loved it. So I'm doing it again. Here we are. Okay, so go ahead and hang up the strap. Let's do the other side. I thought it felt quite magical. Left foot up. Ali oop. Make sure the toes are facing forward. You're in somewhat of like a parallel hip socket distance apart here. Ooh, side's tighter. It needs it. Okay. Arm on the inside of the leg. Tailbone is dropped, shin is pushing down. Check, check, check. I'm gonna let it pull me forward. Now, when you're going forward here, I want you to still push down into your left foot, like that left hip is going back as your chest goes forward, if that makes sense. And then come all the way up, arm wraps around. Little side bend. And then back up hand down, I'm gonna shift forward. So just like any lunge or split that we do, think left hip going back, right hip going forward. And then we do that drop of the knee out to the side. Ooh, and then back up. Anybody else out there? Anybody else? <laughs> Arm up and side bend. Oh, give that right butt cheek a good squeeze here. And then back up, hand down, lean forward, breathe into those tight places. Holy cannoli, that's tight. Left knee goes out to the side. And then back up, arm wraps around, stack up. Keep pulling the legs together like a pair of scissors. Up and over. Oh. Forgive me, lots of moans and groans. It's early. <laughs> awesome work, y'all. That's it, nice work.